Coach, I guess, you know, I hate to start off on a negative note, but just what do you think about how many guys you left on tonight? Well, we got a few guys on, and we, and we didn't execute. We didn't get them in. And, uh, but that's baseball. You you, you got to give credit to their guys, give credit to their pitching coach for not giving in. Uh, you know, he he kind of went to the spin and the off-speed stuff in those situations. And uh, you're not talking about professional hitters. You're talking about amateurs and uh, guys a little over-aggressive. Uh, at the same time, I think more than anything, I think you give West Virginia credit for making pitches. Uh, you know, and you give our guy credit. I mean, Davis threw the ball awful well and put us in position to win the game. And, uh, you know, we weren't real crisp at anything tonight. I mean, defensively, we weren't real good. Uh, you know, and so uh, that's what you get when you, when you don't play the game the right way. What do you think about Ty and his three innings? It seemed like he was real sharp tonight. Yeah, Ty's, yeah. Ty's been sharp. Uh, you know, that's a really good spot for him. He kind of held the door for us and – Really hate it for him and Davis that we couldn't go get them a couple runs. And uh, but at the same time, again, I think uh, West Virginia did a great job. I think they were in the right spot when we hit the ball hard. And uh, you know, I think they made some pitches when they needed to make them. It's just, just in terms of the bunt that Michael Davis got, do you, do you kind of feel like that was just kind of a, a storyline of today where you guys just weren't able to execute like you kind of mentioned? Well, that's the only bunt we didn't get down. I mean, really, it's just still one out, I man, on first and second. We had some guys come up after that, and uh, you'd like to, you know, you'd like to build a uh, bet the house that you can get a sack bunt down in that situation with Grant coming up uh, because that puts you in a good spot. Um, but I think Michael was uh, – he just didn't get the bunt down. He's a guy who can get the bunt down. He just tried to do too much. and uh, He's a guy that needs to learn from that. And uh, next time, I'm, I'm sure he'll do it. There near the end, Holt kind of made that a double when he was on third and they kind of pulled the infield in. Did you discuss the contact play? Yeah, we were going, and he just didn't feel like he got a good jump. Uh, you know, it's uh, – and I, you know, I'm not so sure he wasn't right. Uh, I think, you know, balls hit hard, semi-hard. They were in. It would have probably been a bang-banger. Uh, like the seam go, uh, but at the same time, he didn't. And, uh, you, again, same deal. Same deal as the inning before. You got a guy coming up, puts a, you know, put a good at-bat together, and who knows what happens. And, uh, you know, I, honestly, at the time the ball was hit, I was kind of glad he didn't go. Because where he was standing, he was going to be out. He needed to probably needed to cheat it a little more, and uh, you know, and really, you're you're hunting a fly ball right there is what you're hunting, and that's the difference in probably a big leaguer and an amateur. I mean, a big leaguer can they can hit a fly ball in their sleep. I mean, to do that, you know, those guys that drive in 100 runs know to get a pitch up and then get the ball in the air, and uh, that's you know part of the learning process for these guys. No, obviously a tough one for you, Davis, but I guess how, how do you feel you've been throwing the last couple uh, starts, seven, seven or more strikeouts the last couple? I mean, it's still, I feel good. You know, I felt like I executed well today, but, you know, at the end of the day, it counts as a loss all the same, you know. It doesn't doesn't matter, you know, and you can't put a blame on anybody. I mean, it's a team, you know, we can't. I mean, last week uh, I didn't throw very good, in my opinion, gave up three runs to a team that I don't think I should have gave three runs to, and we ended up scoring 22, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's a team thing, you know. I, I mean, I felt good, but you know, one day they're going to bail me out, and it's, it's all going to even out. But yeah, uh, felt good on the mound. Besides executing on the mound, what can you do to kind of help your team? Uh, not much. Just you know, keep playing baseball, stay close. I mean, don't point fingers. You can't at this stage of the game. You can't you can't s divide into pitchers and hitters. You know, you can't blame the hitters for not scoring runs because. You know, one day they're going to score 10 runs and we're going to give up 10 runs. You know, it's, it's, again, back to the team thing. You know, this is a team, you know, we can't, we're going to stick together. This is no big deal. It's just, it's just going to teach us, uh, just going to teach us, you know, you, you, you take these games. I mean, regional, super regionals, college world series games, they're not 10 run games. I mean, we got to, we got to play these games uh, early and often because it'll help us out in the long run, no doubt. No, it's early on, but I guess what can you take away from a, a loss like this to where 
like Coach said, you guys had opportunities to kind of execute. What can you kind of? Uh, I mean, I think you could just take out that you've been in that spot before. I mean, later on down the road, let's say it's a regional, we're down one, we have a guy at third with less than one out, you know. Nine out of ten times, I take Josh in that situation every time. I mean, nine out of ten times, he's going to execute and do his job. You know, it's and that's the thing. We if we play that over again, we wouldn't want anybody else in that spot. Same with Michael following him up. I mean, those two guys, we we trust them. We think they can do it. You know, and later on, uh, let's say it's a big time series, Big Twelve series, or a regional, super regional, whatever. You know, it's you can't really get nervous because you've been in the situation before, and you know you can you can execute. So, for you guys, uh, is it going to be? pretty easy since you got a game tomorrow to just kind of forget it or do you kind of try and keep this in the back of your mind just kind of remember you know I mean I take it as you sit in the locker room as long as you want if you want if you want to think about the game till 12 o'clock tonight you sit in the locker room you hang out you do whatever you need to do once you leave the locker room I mean it's day two you're getting ready for the next game you know and I think I think a lot of guys I mean we're we're old enough we're big boys you know we can we've already shifted our focus to the next game you know this one's over you can't do anything about it you can't pout about it uh, so I think we're ready to go for tomorrow. Just uh, all the guys got to go to class. You know, it's another Friday. So, I mean, we're just going to treat it like another game.